Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Ballistic Barbecue. On this video, I'm going to be making uh, Mexican style carnitas. Uh, for those of you who may never have heard of carnitas, basically it's uh, Mexico's version of pulled pork. You end up with a really, really moist, tender uh, piece of pork with a nice kind of a caramelized exterior. Really, really good. Um, let's get going. For this cook, I'm going to be using about six pounds of pork shoulder, which I've cut up into some pretty decent sized chunks, and I, uh, you know, obviously removed it from the bone. All right, so let's go over our list of ingredients uh, that we're going to be using with the pork. Um, one bottle of Mexican Coca-Cola. Big difference between Mexican Coke and American Coke. Uh, this is actually made with cane sugar instead of the high fructose corn sweeteners that you get in the, the American version. Uh, do not substitute American Coke for this. It's, it's gonna make a huge difference. If you do not have access to this stuff, I would suggest using uh, raw, the uh, turbinado sugar. Um, probably about one to two tablespoons of this instead. Uh, a little bit of sea salt. I am going to be slicing up one fresh orange using that. Probably about four cloves of fresh garlic. Now I'm going to be making mine in the uh, way they make it in Jalisco, Mexico. It's again, very regional stuff. Uh, I'm going to be using a little bit of sweetened uh, condensed milk. Now this is going to help with that nice caramelized exterior. Again, it's a Jalisco thing. If you don't want to use this, don't worry about it. Just don't use it. A little bit of water some bay leaves. Um, now as far as the cooking medium, we are using a lot of lard guys, enough to actually cover the meat while it's in the pot. In uh, the Mexican markets it's probably going to be listing, listed as a uh, mantica. Now um, I'm going to get a lot of comments on this, I already know that, so let's go ahead and just address it right now. Alright guys, lard, we're going to be using a lot. Um, and like I said, I'm expecting comments. Uh, how this is going to be cooked, as you'll see in just a second here, um, we're going to vary the temperatures. Initially, it's going in pretty hot, and it's going to instantly sear the outside of that pork, seal it in. It's, it's going to be cooking for quite some time in this lard, um, but I can guarantee, you have to trust me on this, it's not going to be greasy. It's going to be just very moist um, and delicious, believe me. You do not want to substitute this stuff. And you'll see plenty of recipes out there that are calling for uh, you know, using broth instead than finishing it in the broiler. It's not carnitas. It's not the authentic way of doing it. If you want that authentic flavor that you're going to get in a good restaurant or down in Mexico, you got to stick with the original ingredients. Uh, let's get to cooking. All right, guys, so I'm cooking my carnitas in a pretty large uh, cast iron Dutch oven. Now, um, I have two and a half pounds of lard in here melted, and right now it's at uh, 375 degrees. We're gonna lower that substantially. Initially, I just wanna get the browned, uh, the meat browned really well. So, 375, and I'm gonna start adding the pork. Now, just because I put the meat in here, this cold meat, I've already dropped the temperature pretty substantially. And uh, we're actually going to lower it again once I get that a nice uh, brown color I'm looking for. So check on it uh, in a bit here. I'm just gonna, like I said, just keep, keep stirring it, keep this meat from sticking. See, it's starting to get a little browner, getting a nice color. And uh, I'm gonna start adding the oranges. Again, just sliced oranges, give them a nice squeeze, and I'm just gonna drop them in, peel and all. And we're going to get these tucked in there. I'm just going to keep turning this meat. Alright, so it's been cooking now for 30 minutes. We're going to lower the heat down to medium and we want to bring this temperature down. Now, in Mexico, they cook uh, carnitas in these big pots called cazos. Uh, they're traditional uh, material was actually copper. Now they, they're selling them now uh, stainless steel. Um, it's very important that if you do this at home that you have a nice high walled pot and you're going to see why in a sec. I'm going to add water to bring this uh, lard temperature down to about you know, 220, 230 or so. 
Now that didn't give you the reaction you thought it was going to give, did it? A lot of you were expecting it to explode and over, you know, boil and everything. It doesn't. Um, so, what I'm going to do now is, again, I just want to bring this down to 220, 230 degrees, and I'm going to maintain this until the water evaporates. And you'll know when the, you know, the level drops down. All right, so about 30 minutes have passed and water's evaporated. Then we're going to add, start adding the uh, other stuff here. One uh, full bottle of that Mexican Coca-Cola. And it's refresco. Um, so this is uh, 355 milliliters. Four cloves of garlic. About four of those uh, dried bay leaves. And a half a can or about seven ounces of that condensed sweet milk. Get this stirred up and to let it keep going. Basically now we're just looking for the fork tender meat here. I'm guessing it should be ready in about another hour or so. Almost forgot guys. Right when I shut the camera down I realized. I'm going to add um, about a tablespoon or so, tablespoon and a half of uh, that sea salt. All right. See you guys in a bit. All right, guys, so uh, another hour has passed and the carnitas are done. You can see they're very, very tender now. Um, at this point, what I'm going to do is take them out of the lard and put them on paper towels. Um, they're ready to serve now if you want. We like uh, them to be a little bit more crispy on the outside. So what we're going to do is uh, just brown them a little bit in a uh, skillet, and then we're going to go ahead and make up some tacos. See you in a bit. All right, so um, I got the pork broken down into smaller cubes, and basically what I'm doing is just browning the outside on uh, my cast iron skillet. So this is some really, really good tender pork. I just want to get a little bit more of a you know, shell on the outside, a little bit more crispiness. And then we'll uh, get this plated up. All right, guys, so here we are. We're just serving it family style, and just really, mm. Extremely tender meat. Look at that, just falling apart. We're going to make some tacos now. We're going to go to the corn tortilla. Keep it really, really basic here. And one of the traditional toppings is like, you know, pickled red onion. We don't have any of those, so just going with the meat. A little cotija cheese. Some queso anejo. Really nice avocados. Of course, a little cilantro. And this is my all time favorite salsa. Uh, salsa de aguacate. This is basically salsa made with avocado, um, habanero, and tomatillo. There you guys, check it out. It is time to sample this porky goodness. All right, I'm gonna hit it with just a little bit of lime. Give this guy a shot here. Mm. Really good. And the good thing about carnitas, as you guys will soon see, makes great leftovers. Anyway guys, I'll see you in the next video.